Okay, let's go through what um, you need to attach the bolo kit. So first, you obviously need the bolo kit, which comes with a bolo clasp, some bolo rope, and the um, tips. You're going to need your finished piece of beadwork as well as the backing you're going to use, some thread, a needle. This is the size, uh, the number 11 needle and the number 16 needle that I like to use. And if you're working with a really stiff backing, you're going to want... Um, a thimble or something to protect the skin on your hands. I'm going to be using smoked moose hide and so it's pretty easy to pass a needle through so I might not need the thimble. Uh, you're also going to need a pair of scissors. I'm using the 3.5 inch LDH um, snips, a pair of pliers, as well as some glue. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our backing and our beadwork lines up perfectly. We're going to take the clip and place it where we think we'd like the bolo to pass through. So you want to pay attention to the top loops here. This is where your rope comes out of. This is where the neck loop will be. And also how far away from the edge this is because that's where your rope will come out of. I like to put mine relatively close to the top. So I'm going to say mine's going to be about right there. So you can put your beadwork aside because you don't need it for this step. So I'm going to make sure that my the hole in the middle of this bolo clip um, lines up with this little divot between where the petals are going to be. So I'm going to cut a piece of thread. Pick up my needle. Pass it through. And I'm just going to tie a knot at the end of my thread. There. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tack down this top hole so that my bolo clip is in place. So going from underneath through my moose hide, I'm pulling this all the way in and I'm going to loop this around a few times to secure this. So you want to do it as many times as you want until you feel like it's going to be stable enough. You really don't want it to be wiggly. I mean, it's going to be wiggly because the bottom isn't tacked down yet, but you really want that top to be um, well placed. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to tie a knot just to... Uh, make sure that that tension doesn't get lost. So I'm going to grab a bit of the moose hide and go under one of the threads and then make a quick knot here. I'm going to do a second one just to be safe. There. So that is very much in place. Now if you lift this little piece, you'll see another hole right there. At this point, if you want it to be super sturdy, you can lift this, put a dollop of glue, pin it down, and then sew it down. I don't really want to use glue on this moose hide, 
So I'm just gonna sew it down the way we did on the other, in the other hole. And notice I didn't cut my thread because this is gonna be in the back of the beadwork, so you're not gonna see this anyways. Um, so yeah, instead of doing another knot, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this, um, the same thread. So the same idea. At this point, you really wanna make sure that your clip is straight. And you're doing the same thing you did at the top, just going through that hole multiple times. Giving it a good tug, making sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So you can see it's still a little bit wiggly, but that's totally okay. So then I go on the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing I did up here and just tie off a couple knots to secure it in place. So once you're happy with where your clip is sitting, you can go ahead and cut this thread. You don't need to cut it super close because again, it's gonna be squished between your beadwork like that. So at this point, this is when I would like to put on my beadwork an edge around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that my beadwork is fully edged, um, we're ready to add the leather rope. So this is pretty simple. Just lift this little mechanism here, slide the end through, and then under that little flap and do the same thing with the other side. So the reason we sew on um, this finding to the backing instead of sewing it underneath is because this can get really tight and actually damage your rope. So you want the entire finding to be on the outside of your backing. So you can massage the rope so that it doesn't twist as much. So once you have your ropes in here, um, you just close this piece here, which can be a little bit tough, and then your rope isn't going anywhere. So this is how you would adjust it when you're putting it on and off of your head <laughs> or around your neck. And then we're gonna add the um, tips to the ends of the rope. So. For this, you're going to need some glue. I use the E6000 clear. And we're just going to put a tiny bit inside of each of these findings here. There, that should be good. And then you slide the piece of leather into the finding, into the tip. And at this point, you just kind of want to wipe away any excess glue because you are going to see it when it dries. Okay. So you can let that dry for a little bit. Um, and then once it's dry, it's in there, you know it's going to stay. You just grab your pliers and you fold in the little um, 
like the teeth components. So that it ends up looking like that. So that does extra hold onto your leather rope. And there you go, your tips are in. Now you have a finished bolo tie.